Hello everyone, welcome to Indian School of Physics guys. Uh, today's video is slightly different and it's related to physics. I am going to present a sample problem uh, of round 2 or round 3 and it is created by one of our uh, student volunteer and uh, the name of this problem is Haunted Cylinder and the creator is Harshit Gupta. Many of you know uh, him and he is uh, KVPY rank uh, 27, all, all India rank 27. So guys, it's a very beautiful uh, problem made by him and uh, I'll uh, request everyone to give maximum number of likes to the Harshit Gupta. So here is the problem. A long conducting, non-conducting cylindrical shell of length L and radius R is having a uniform surface charge density of sigma is rotating with initial angular velocity of omega naught about its axis. This cylindrical shell is placed inside another fixed uh, cylindrical channel A with a small gap of d as shown in the figure the gap between the channel and the shell is having a viscous liquid of coefficient of viscosity eta find the magnetic field inside the cylindrical shell as a function of time the mass of the shell is m naught assume that the uh, the rotating liquid follows a linear profile in the gap between the channel and the cylindrical shell <coughs> use l is much much larger compared to r and also we are assuming here this uh, thin gap d is very very small compared to the radius r all right so let's discuss the concept part in uh, this uh, problem and uh, i am breaking this problem into small small uh, steps so it is a combination of multiple problems and uh, infused into one so you will see if you break this problem in into small step it becomes uh, relatively easy but clicking that is uh, slightly challenging in my opinion so let's start this the rotating charge shell will behave like a solenoid we all all know this as the shell rotates it will experience a viscous force which will provide torque now due to this torque angular velocity is going to change and if angular velocity is going to change the magnetic field created by the rotating uh, shell will also change and if there is a time varying magnetic field it is going to create a non-conservative electric field and which is going to further apply torque on the shell all right so this is the whole philosophy of uh, this problem here and you can see this diagram so let's uh, do this question uh, stepwise so first is let's find the viscous torque so here you can uh, see this viscous torque will be acting opposite to the uh, uh, direction of omega and uh, tangential will uh, it will be tangential to the shell everywhere all right and d is very small and we are assuming it is following a linear uh, profile so dv by dz in this gap directly i can write small r omega naught divided by d so this tau viscous is going to be viscous force and multiplied by r so we already know this viscous force uh, in such situation i can write eta a dv by dz eta is uh, the coefficient of viscosity a is the area of the layer in contact where this uh, friction force or viscous force is acting to pi rl on the surface of it and then r omega by d so we are going to get this uh, tau viscous as 2 pi r square l eta d by omega the next step is going to be finding the magnetic field of uh, 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 charged cylindrical shell see this is the one step and uh, this question is like uh, means level question but it is just one step of this problem all right he is combining this uh, problem with uh, another concept here magnetic field due to rotating charged uh, cylindrical shell here we can use uh, ampere's law so you can see here i'm taking this amperian loop and since it's a long solenoid the field is nearly uniform everywhere inside all right and if this field is uniform outside is nearly zero so when i apply b dot dl in this loop for uh, this side it becomes zero because field is perpendicular here field itself is zero again perpendicular so overall b dot dl will become b into x and that will be equal to mu naught times the current inside now this current due to moving charge i can write as uh, q omega by 2 pi where q q dash is the charge inside this uh, amperian loop so here q dash value is going to be sigma into 2 pi r into small x when i substitute this value i am getting this uh, b as mu naught sigma r omega 
so this omega is at any given instant of time t so this is another problem uh, again it's a mains level problem for finding b due to rotating charge cylinder but together they are combining you can see the gravity or the uh, the strength of the problem is uh, increasing in this right and the third part since omega is changing with time this this will create induced electric field let's find out torque due to induced electric field so you can see here this omega and due to viscous force omega should have decreased so if omega is decreasing uh, the electric field created uh, will be created in such a way that it will try to oppose the change this is the basic application of lenz law so you can see here the induced electric field will try to increase this decreasing omega so that it can compensate for decreasing field and it's a decreasing flux now so e induced again is going to be r by 2 db by dt you can write for outside region also or inside field will exist both inside and outside all right so i'm not taking here the outside uh, part because it is uh, continuous if you remember it is going to be something like this r by 2 db by dt here and uh, capital r square by 2 r db by dt outside where uh, limit will exist for r equal to r so directly we can use this uh, logic here r by 2 db by dt now i'm going to substitute the value of uh, b from this equation if i substitute this i am going to get this induced electric field as mu naught sigma r square by 2 d omega by dt all right this itself is a small mains level problem but together i hope you can uh, see how the strength of the problem is uh, increasing or i should say the gravity of the situation is increasing you would have heard that uh, story in your childhood that uh, if you are uh, separated in your group then it's easy to break right or that uh, string uh, story that one one thread if you are keeping it's very easy to break but together if you combine those uh, threads it becomes very difficult so that is the philosophy of uh, this problem also let's go for the next step now we are going to calculate this torque due to induced uh, electric field so that is very simple here qe is going to be the force and that will be tangential multiplied by r so when i substitute the value of e i am going to get this tau electric as pi mu naught sigma square r to the power 4 l d omega by dt all right now the next step here is uh, to get angular velocity of the shell at any time t this is another mains level problem but together you can see here uh, viscosity was there then uh, electric field magnetic field has come into picture now the concepts of rotation are also coming into this right so angular velocity of shell at any time t i can write see here this is going to be the omega in this uh, case and it is decreasing so alpha is other side and uh, value of alpha is minus d omega by dt viscous torque will be in this direction which is actually rotating the uh, which is actually decreasing the omega and its effect will be uh, more compared to the effect of electric field so tau viscous minus tau electric that is the net torque and we can write it as i axis into alpha so when i substitute these values here you can see i am going to substitute the value of tau viscous which i have cal calculated earlier then i am going to substitute the value of uh, tau electric all right and that is equal to i axis it's a hollow cylinder so mr square into uh, alpha alpha is minus d omega by dt because uh, overall this omega is going to decrease now when i rearrange this term a very nice equations i am getting here uh, though there are some uh, constants here like this but virtually if you see this equation it is uh, something like d omega by uh, omega is equal to some kdt so when i integrate this i'm assuming this big expression as a new constant k all right so initially omega is omega naught and at any time t this omega is omega so zero to t will be the limit so finally my angular velocity as a function of time is coming in this form which is omega is equal to omega naught e to the power minus kt all right after this magnetic field as a function of time uh, which i have derived earlier i can just substitute this value of omega so b is going to be mu naught sigma r omega naught e to the power minus kt where k is given by this number which depends on the other uh, 
data which is given in the problem like uh, viscosity length mass radius charge density and the gap of the channel or gap of the cylindrical shell so this is going to be the final answer guys so if you have enjoyed don't forget to leave a like in this problem to encourage these uh, these kids